what's going on divine collective all right another sunday reading for you here okay They love you so much, Devon Collective. Parking lot. <laughs> Parking lot, they love you so much. We have lucky as fuck on the bottom. And I can't be faithful to you. Mm. Could be somebody in the background. Doesn't have to be your person, okay? Could be somebody telling your person that. Okay? They love you so much. Hmm. Okay. This person's trying one more time. All right. They feel like they can't be faithful, but they're going to try one more time. Eight of Cups in Reverse is I'm going to try one more time. All right. I'm indecisive, but I'm going to try one more time. I could be avoiding it, but I'm trying one more time because I'm scared of losing you. That's what Eight of Cups says here. I'm scared of losing you. I'm going to try. So I love you so much. Okay. This person is releasing limiting beliefs, okay? They're releasing negative thoughts, okay? They're opening to new perspectives, okay? They were dealing with sport energy, and now they release themselves from those ropes, okay? Parking lot, something in a parking lot here, okay? The Empress, we have Earth energy here, could be Taurus. Gemini, old, that old bag is Gemini here, and somebody you're moving on from. Pisces as well, all right? This is a general reading. This is not for any particular person. That is my, disclo my disclaimer. This is not for any particular person. This is a general reading. If you resonate with it, great. Okay? But it's a general reading. It's not a personal reading. All right. You have eight, eight, and three. Okay? Eight, eight, and three. Hmm. Yeah, this person is angry about a relationship they had with this cucaracha. Okay? They're angry about this relationship. Yes, Knight of Swords and Knight of Wands in reverse. Angry about this relationship. Okay? It's over. It's over. We have eight of eight, eight of swords in reverse. It's finished. This person is releasing this releasing it. Okay? They're releasing the sword energy. Mm. They have a thirst for knowledge. They're moving on. Okay? They're thinking of new ways to communicate. But they released this person. They're angry about it. Okay? This this uh, relationship gave them scattered energy and frustration. It caused delays in their life. Okay? And they're over it. Yeah. <sighs> Page of Swords. Mm -mm. Yep. They could also be wanting to um, bring a cup of love to a water energy. We have Scorpio here. They could be wanting to bring their cup of love to a water energy. Okay. And this person's unhappy about it. Very unhappy. They got the sword going right at their head. Ready to cut it right off. Okay. It could also be red like that. But either way, someone's angry as a result of it. Mm. 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 This person is avoiding conflict with this air energy. Could have Aquarius in their chart. Leo, but they're avoiding conflict, okay? This person is conflict. Yes, they're conflict. They're conflict, okay? Mm. Yeah, their judgment was out of whack here. So this is, their judgment was in reverse when they were dealing with this energy. 
that's why they were giving them a cup of love because their their judgment was in reverse they were not seeing this person for who they really were this person was tricking them okay yep five of swords in reverse aquarius energy again air energy here again okay tricking them all right they were always trying to uh say sorry come back to me i'm sorry i cut off your feet i'm sorry i threw out the window i'm sorry i broke your you know your nose this person's abusive this is abusive energy all this reverse sword energy is very abusive verbally physically we have five five and twenty here okay very abusive and they're always saying sorry and going back to them they're always taking them back they didn't they didn't believe in themselves so they kept going back to this person they didn't think they deserved better okay but they love you so much clarify they love you so much clarify they love you so much clarify they love you so much okay mm. Mm. temperance in reverse mm. dealing with an old overly emotional bitch yeah queen of swords in the upright okay yeah they were out of balance dealing with this person Clarify, I love you so much. Somebody they're destined to be with. That's who they love so much. Number 10 and number 2. Okay. They're fearing the change of this destiny, this fate that they're supposed to be experiencing. They're fearing it. Okay, it could be Aries energy here. They're playing it safe, but they love you so much. They're fearing change. Remember, we have, I can't be faithful to you. They At one time, they felt like that. I can't be faithful. They're fearing that change because they were dealing with, dealing with somebody who was very abusive. Okay, they could have been abusive as well. When you're dealing with abuse, you might start abusing too. You don't know what else to fucking do. So, they're trying to heal from that. Yeah, this person's an emperor now. Okay, they want to be an emperor. They want to be in the upright. We have Aries energy again. That's their fate, is to be an emperor in the upright. Is to have focus and practicality, discipline, and self-control. Okay? They're releasing some pain right now and trying to be optimistic. They're moving on from this sword energy that put three swords in their heart, at least three, probably more. All right, this Libra air energy, Aquarius energy, it's over with. They want a queen of pentacles now. Okay, right there on top of that broken heart. All right, somebody who's nurturing, financially well off, a working parent, practical, providing, just like them. Okay, that's what they want. Could have Sagittarius and Capricorn in your chart. Aries, mm hmm. Fire and earth here. That's who they want, collective. My heart is open to give and receive unconditional love. My heart is open to give and receive unconditional love. Yes, number 55. All right. My heart is open to receive and give unconditional love. Oops. Sorry, collective. I'm trying to pick up these cards off the floor. Oh. we have i'm afraid to lose you okay why do i feel this way you're so different from everyone around me i'm stuck in visions of us together i long for your kiss why can't i move on from you okay i can't stop thinking about you okay i need to figure myself out okay 
I wish I could understand you. I wish I could be fully honest with you. And why do I deserve someone like you? Such a beautiful queen of pentacles in the upright. Why do I deserve someone like you? They know, okay? They know who they are. They're conscious and aware of who they are collectively. Give me three final cards for this reading here. their wish come true collective you're their nine of cups okay you're their nine of cups someone is out in the cold because they were not giving to them anymore they had to stop giving to this energy here this cucaracha begging doing nothing and just begging and taking and dry, drying them out okay this is where cucaracha wanted them okay that's where cucaracha wanted them in the gutter with them so they had to stop giving to her okay there was this person was abusing their money and abusing them okay abusing them so they stopped they cut off the sources for kukuracha stop giving the crumbs to the roaches and they found their wish come true here nine of cups could be water energy i have water in your chart collected that's your reading <laughs> 